How are y'all doing today? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and we're doing another review on another Four Gate whiskey product and this one I am really really excited about. This is Four Gate Kelvin Collaboration 2. Let's get into it. So back in April of 2019, Four Gate Whiskey Company teamed up with Kelvin Cooperage to do an awesome whiskey called the Kelvin Collaboration. Now, what they did is they're using their 12-year-old bourbon high rye mash bill, which is the same as what they did last year in April, and they're finishing it differently this time. Now, the first Kelvin Collaboration went off awesome. You know, with Four Gate fans, with everyone in the whiskey community, people seem to love it. This release, I'm hoping for the same thing. What they did is they took that 12-year whiskey and they finished it in both cognac and rum barrels. So now Fourgate is always experiencing with these barrel finishes, which is something really, really cool. I already think they're one of the best blending companies out there. They're taking some great juice, you know, these honey barrels. They're blending them extremely well, and they're getting a product that's just phenomenal, at least with my experience so far. Let's talk about the whiskey a little bit. So for the Kelvin Collaboration 2, this is a 12-year-old straight bourbon whiskey finished in cognac and rum cask, as I mentioned. The mash bill on this is consistent with the first release, so 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% barley. Non-chill filter, which is just a wonderful thing for all of us whiskey lovers. 126.4 proof. So we're talking high proof stuff. Almost 2,500 bottles are being released. MSRP on these bottles is right around the $200 price point. So with a lot of four gate products, they are right around the $200, 150 to 200. You know, price is always the one worry, you know, is the whiskey going to live up to the hype? But I'll tell you what, the last release they did, that split stave, to me it was worth the price point. It was that good and it pushed BTAC level. That's how much I liked it. So I'm really curious to see how this one turns out. Let's go right into it here. Color is very, very nice, very dark. You know, I think that the cognac barrel, as well as the 12 year age, is just taking over on this. Um, nice legs sticking to the side of the glass. You know, the proof is definitely going to help that as long, as well as the uh, non-chill filtering. So very, very nice there too. It's a very inviting dram and I can't wait to go into it. So let's give it a nose. Woo! Intense proof and intense sweetness come through on the nose initially. You know, the intense sweetness, not surprised. We've got a cognac finish and a rum finish, both very sweet, sweet spirits. So the fact that it's sweet is not surprising. You know, I think this is reminding me a little bit of some um, Bell Mead cognac finish bottles I've had, some of the higher proof ones. And I think that's just the cognac coming through. You know, I really do. Um, I don't have a big experience with cognac on its own, but the finishes I've had a couple different releases on. Nutty, almost like a maple syrup-like consistency on the nose, honestly, coming through. The proof is like, boom, you know, I, I would have guessed this is around 130 if I didn't know better. But I like that, you know, being a, being a high proof guy, that, that's good for me. Woo! So the sting, you know, the front of the palate gives you an awesome burst of flavor. Moves its way up to the nostrils, actually, which is more that alcohol burn, but... It's not off-putting at all. Um, again, that, that rich, rich sweetness translates to the palate for me. It's like deep brown sugar, very almost like a, like I said, like almost like a maple syrup, but it doesn't taste like maple. It's like a, like a molasses almost coming through. You know, that thickness, that oiliness comes through on the palate. Second sip was better. Not as much of that, you know, alcohol ethanol burn going up to the nose. That was just all creaminess. I mean, really creamy, really sweet. That burst of flavor, that tingle on the tip of the palate still right there. Boy, this is another good release from Fourgate. Um, sip two, I'm already a fan. <laughs> I really am. It still drinks like a bourbon, you know, which is nice for all us bourbon lovers. It still drinks like a bourbon. It just got this extra layer of depth and complexity, I think, from the cognac. You know, I'm not getting as much of that rum influence, I'm not getting a huge amount of that, those bright, you know, tropical fruits, things like that, which I get from a lot of rum finishes usually. But the cognac, I think, is really, really coming out. I mean, that's what that extra layer of sweetness is. Mm. 
the the balance of the oak and the sweetness, I think, is really what shows through the most for me. You know, you're talking 12-year whiskey. 12-year whiskey and then the cognac, I mean, you can really, really ruin a good bourbon, a good whiskey with finishing. But this is so well balanced. You know, it really is. The balance on this is wonderful. Um, I love what's going on in here. Now, again, let's talk price. $200. Only 2,500 bottles being released, so I understand the price point. I absolutely do. You know, this is one I definitely would say try it before you buy it. I will be putting up a full written review of this up on my website as well, so I'll go into more detail and depth about this specifically, and about Forgate as a company as well. This is a wonderful whiskey. You know, I mean, it with the extra layer of sweetness, it's kind of honestly reminding me of like a Larceny Barrel Proof, where it's got the wheat, which is sweet already. And the the extra sweetness, like for some reason that A120 Larceny just drinks so sweet to me. And this has got that sugary sweet too. Maybe that's part of the rum influence, but I think it's mostly the cognac coming through on my palate at least. 12 years though is what is what helps this. You know, that, that age is what really helps mellow the sweetness a little bit and makes it a very, very wonderful, enjoyable dram. Um, definitely find a pour of this if you can. I know it's such a limited release, it's difficult, but... You will not be disappointed in this product. You know, for Gate with the releases they've done in the past, what I've kind of always said is, hey, if you can find a bottle of this and you have the money to spend, please do. Like, please buy it because you go on an experience when you try some of these whiskeys. You know, and some of the barrel releases I've had, Barrel's another awesome blending company. Um, it's the same way. It's like you go on a little bit of a, an experience and a trip. You know, the Barrel Dovetail is what did that to me the most, and they experiment with finishes as well, just like Forgate's doing. So I think um, if you spend the money to get it, you're not going to be disappointed. You just have to go into it realizing, hey, I'm spending $200. You know, I used my stimulus check or whatever it may be to get to get the whiskey, but um, you're going to like it. That's just the answer. You're going to like it. And if you're off put from a lot of rum finishes you've had in the past, I don't think this is going to matter. Like I think, you know, the rum is there, but I think it's a very minor influence for me personally, at least, you know, the, the cognac is what's, what's really popping through. So really nice product. If you can find a bottle, give her a try, pick it up if you can. Thank you so much for watching this episode today. I love reviewing Forgate products, craft distillery products, you know, people who are doing blending. Blending is such an art form. So if you like to see these types of episodes, please do let me know. Um, let me know if you've had any Forgate products before. You know, I'm curious to hear which was your favorite release. For me, I really, really like the split stave. I think that's awesome experimentation what they're doing with Kelvin, you know, the Kelvin Cooperage. And this is another winner. You know, this this was a winner again for me today. So let me know if you've had it. Got to give a quick thank you so much to all my patrons, as I always do every episode. You guys are awesome, guys and girls. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. You help me do things like I'm doing now, um, reviews, distillery tours, Battle of the Bourbons episodes, which we're going to have a barrel proof coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And one last thing, check out the website, as I mentioned earlier. Forgate, this specific release will be put up on there. I'll be talking about that. Um, you know, what I like, what I don't like. Um, I'll go into more detail. You know, when I write those reviews, I try to pour another glass and have it next to me and drink it as I'm writing the review. That kind of helps put me in the mood. You know, put me in the mood and gives me fresh palate, fresh nosing notes for you all. So check that out if you haven't already, bourbonsane.com. Thank you all so much for being here today. I'll see you very soon. We've got something really awesome planned coming up very soon. So make sure you're staying tuned. Stay insane, everyone.